Oh my god. I don't even know how to start this video without laughing because this is actually insane. They added the maps from last year. And when you play this game, when you play this playlist with the maps from last year, one is like, it's absolutely ridiculous because obviously it's completely identical. Thinking back to it, you know, when they added Shoot House into MW2 2022 from Modern Warfare 2019, they at least changed it up a little bit, but they legit did nothing to these maps at all except copy and paste them. I don't really care. I mean, I get it. It's from last year, but dude, it just, I think it just proves the point even more that this game is a straight DLC. It's crazy. I'm using the old guns from Modern Warfare 2 2022 on these maps. And if you've never played Modern Warfare 3 before, say Modern Warfare 3 wasn't even in the question, you would have no idea that they're different games. I, I swear, watching this gameplay back and just playing it as well. I mean, this is not a live commentary. I'm just recording this afterwards. It's a voiceover, but you would have no idea you're playing Modern Warfare 3. Maybe the movement is a little bit different. Maybe. You can, you still can't even really tell. I think the movement for Modern Warfare 3 actually felt better in the beta than it does now. Um, uh, the health, maybe, uh, being 150, maybe you're able to tell. But for me personally, I still can't figure out what the difference is between these two games now. Especially having these maps to compare it on. I, I already had MW2 2022 uninstalled, so I'm not going to sit here and go, you know, get a full comparison. But I'm sure you'll be able to find one out there. Or if you wanted to, you can look up, like, uh, Modern Warfare 2 2022 gameplay and just compare it yourself. But... This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. And I'm not one to tell people how to spend their money. I'm really not. But if you can see by the gameplay is something you don't enjoy or you think it's just a complete ripoff, I, I wouldn't spend the money. If it's in your best interest, go ahead. Be my guest. But uh, I would never tell anyone how to spend it. If you like what you see, sure, go ahead. If not, don't. I I'm e actually even surprised I paid the $70 to play this game because this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. One, I guess you could say maybe it felt the skill-based matchmaking was a little less on this Crown Raceway map, but it's probably because no one wants to play this damn playlist because if they wanted to play this damn playlist, they could just be playing the game from last year. It's the same exact thing. Uh, I, I'm just fed up, man. I'm just fed up. This, the, You can't give this company any more money and honestly i don't buy any skins anymore yeah go ahead and say i'm complaining i i, I get these comments that i'm complaining about the game and whining too much but dude all i am doing is pointing out the facts that this is legit the same game as last year there's no way they we should have been charged 70 dollars for this absolutely not the more i'm sitting here watching this back watching the gameplay as i'm talking over it right now it's just the more i realize how ridiculous of a scam this is i i don't know man i don't know you guys be the judge obviously let me know down in the comments if you think it's different if it feels different uh, you know what this is just coming from my own two eyes and honestly i could be a little biased of recent call of duties because i I'm just fed up with the crap of it and uh i'm not gonna curse on the channel because honestly I i've been non-cursing for a while and i don't want to ruin it but if i could curse right now i would say horrible things i, I would say horrible things this is a disgrace man this is just a disgrace I like i'm mad but i'm more disappointed bro i want call of duty to be good so bad because i feel like there's so much potential but it's just like it's too far gone i think it's just too far gone to come back from like if you don't see it with your own two eyes at this point, I don't know what to say. I don't know what else they have to jam in your face for you to not believe them anymore, but this is absolutely ridiculous. I felt beforehand, even without them releasing these maps, that this game was just a DLC and I was just playing it because whatever, I wanted to give a review and, you know, just talk about it, but this is crazy man this is just I, I don't believe it i don't believe they would go this far i mean this just ain't right man this just ain't right charging people 70 dollars for this man the, the, it's just crazy bro i i don't get it i only bought the game so i can showcase things like this because realistically i don't plan on playing public matches in the game maybe i'll play a little bit of the competitive like i said earlier videos but that's about it that's about it. Competitive is fun in any game you put it, but like when your competitive matches are literally just as competitive as public matches, I, I don't even know anymore, man. I, I just don't even know. I give up. I give up, bro. There's no way I can defend Call of Duty ever again, man. This is ridiculous. It, this might sound repetitive and this might be, you know, whatever, a rant video and go ahead. Like I said, call me. I'm whining, whatever. I, I don't care. I want Call of Duty to be good. This is not good. This is them stealing money from your pockets, bro. It, it, like, 
The damage is already done, obviously, if you bought the game, but you know what? You could do other things and not buy any skins or stuff like that to not give them any more money, but man, I just feel like there's no way anyone can defend Call of Duty. There's no way you can sit there with a straight face and say, wow, this was awesome to add these maps. I mean, like, seriously, it feels like I'm playing a completely different game on the same maps. It's not. It's not, dude. I feel like, if anything, this just shows more that this game was supposed to be a DLC that they probably just had to sell for money because who knows? Maybe the sales started going down. I think, actually, the reviews for Modern Warfare 3 were really low and um, they still made some sales, but it's definitely, I think it was around 30% lower than last year. It goes to show, man, this is crazy. They had to sell this game to make money. I mean, so say what you want about me. You can call me a whiner. You can call me a little crybaby. I don't care. But one thing you can't call me is a liar because I tell the truth every single year about Call of Duty and I keep it a buck. I'm not going to sit here and jam stuff down your throat that I know is BS and I'm not going to accept it, bro. I'm not going to accept it. You can't call me a liar because I always keep it 100 on the channel and I will tell you guys straight up that this is a ripoff. Uh, for me personally, my expectations on Modern Warfare 3 were already really low anyway, so it's not like you can shoot me down like, oh man, I expected such great things this year. No, I already knew this game was going to be BS, especially after, you know, them announcing that, oh, we're switching to a two-year cycle and randomly we're releasing Modern Warfare 3 this year. That's apparently can be made in one year when all other CODs, you know, are like, oh, we've been working on this game for five, six years. Like, dude, come on, man. I, like, But I will be honest because when I did see these OG MW2 maps being remastered, I thought that was pretty cool, but um, I wasn't completely blinded by the nostalgia of the fact that this game would probably be the same as last year, so I kind of already knew something was up. I mean, I was making videos before the beta about this, and then after the beta, I think I made a video titled, Is Modern Warfare 3 Gonna Be a Cash Grab? And uh, it completely is, yeah, because they wanted to blind people with the nostalgia of getting these old maps to sell their game. I think that's 100% what it was. You know, they've thrown these old maps that people know from their childhood, and they're like, I think this is a great idea to get people to buy the game. I, I feel like that's all that was, those maps, because I think they knew if they made new maps, they would be probably completely garbage, because that's how they've been the last maybe four or five years. You get maybe one to two, maybe three good maps every year now, and it's like playing every other one is like pulling teeth. I mean, I could think of like seven, eight maps in the last two years that just made me genuinely sick and I rage quit every time. I mean, speaking of maps, um, that one border crossing map, dude, from last year, like what were they even thinking? What were they even thinking with that map? It is the worst designed map of all time. I, I can't, I tell you right now, that I played one game on it, and after that, every time it would load into that map, I'd back out immediately. I I cannot stand it. For the memes, maybe it's funny to play on it, but dude, freaking map design? Holy crap, that map is genuinely horrible. I, I don't know anymore. I don't know anymore. Maybe I'm getting older, maybe this and that. Maybe I just don't enjoy COD as much anymore. Maybe I just don't enjoy it because of what it's become. But it's just, this isn't right. This is just not right at all to charge people $70 for this. I said it before. And honestly, I'm sorry. I really am that this is repetitive. But I had to get this off my chest because this is ridiculous. And no one, no one deserves, like, a, a fan base as loyal as Call of Duty as we've been over the years. And back in the prime time, we don't deserve to be treated like this, man. I, I've been a diehard Call of Duty fan since World at War. Ever since then, I was hooked. But I think, I think the last game that I actually spent the full year playing, the entire full year, was Black Ops 3. After that, it, it just, for me, my Call of Duty experience died out. And I had fun playing my older CODs, and that was about it. I can play older CODs as much as I want because, you know what, still to this day... They're so fun, and it's not dull like this game. And I know there's people out there, myself included, that have said this about this Call of Duty. Well, I haven't said it about this Call of Duty, but previous Call of Duties, maybe in the last five, six years, that will be like, wow, this is the best Call of Duty in years. But, like, what does that say? It just says that they can't make a good Call of Duty anymore. I feel like they're only worried about stuffing their pockets. And if you listen to me rant this whole video, even though you do enjoy the game, I, I appreciate your time, but at least thank you for the consideration of even watching and listening to me. But I I'm not here to change your mind. If your mind is set and your mind is set, that's it. it it's just like if you're enjoying the game, awesome. I I'm not here to ruin anyone's happiness. I I'm just telling it 
how it is. That's it. That's all. That's all I care for. Speaking the truth, because that's all I want to be known. We just don't deserve this. For buying Call of Duty and being such a loyal fan base, man, I, I just don't think we deserve this. Uh, it just doesn't make any sense. And honestly, I'm thankful and forever thankful and grateful for Call of Duty and what it was in the prime. I mean, I was able to make this hobby into a job that I wouldn't trade for the world, man. It is seriously something special, but I still don't want to sit here and be kicked around like this, man. That's what it feels like we're just getting kicked around and toyed with. It's just kind of sad. Like, I love Call of Duty, man. I've loved it since I was a kid. And I feel like since I've built this channel into so big, I, I never thought it would ever get this big, to be completely honest. I was just a kid playing Modern Warfare 2, posting my fun videos that I thought were awesome. I feel like I should use it to at least spread some truth and honestly, if there's one thing I can do, it's I, I can speak out for at least some of us, maybe not all of us on the channel watching these videos, but at least I can speak out for some of us that this is outrageous, $70 for legit what feels like an actual DLC to the game. But I'm gonna cap things off there, guys. If you did enjoy, drop a like. I'm very curious. Let me know your comments, obviously, down in the comment section. Subscribe if you guys are brand new. I will always forever appreciate all of you that take the time and watch my videos and find them enjoyable and leave comments at the end of the videos, man. I seriously do appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Once again, we do not deserve to be kicked around like this, but I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out and have a great day.